<laughs> What's going on guys? Jake here with White House on the Hill. Welcome back to Top 10 Tuesdays where today the topic will be the best chicken raising videos for beginners. And if you don't consider yourself a beginner, let's call it the basics of raising chickens. So in today's list, again, we're gonna break from the 10 down to one mold and we're gonna talk about 10 videos that are great on their own and cover different topics of raising chickens. I'm really excited about this list. I think it'll create a great playlist to give great information for someone starting out in chickens or to act as a refresher course for different topics in raising chickens. Let's get started. Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbert Farm. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in adding some chickens to your house or your backyard or your homestead or your farm. And you probably will have a whole bunch of questions as to how do you get started with chickens. I'm gonna go over that in this coming video. I'm gonna show you everything that we do um, from the very beginning, from ordering chickens all the way up to transitioning them to outside. Now, I tried to organize this list so that it would make sense if you watched it straight through for covering information on getting chicks, hatching chicks, growing chicks, and then starting to take care of them as adult chickens. So this first video is from Guildbrook Farm, which is called The Beginner's Guide to Raising Backyard Chickens. Just a forewarning, it's a little long. It's about the length of a movie. So when you've got a free night, Grab a snack, grab a drink, and cuddle up to learn about raising chickens. Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. Today I want to show you what you have to do with your hatching machine if you don't have a broody hen to get the best result in hatching. Now when we're talking about incubating chickens, one of the best channels to go to is Simeon at the Swedish Homestead. I think he does a great job of taking you through the steps that it takes to incubate chickens. He hatches out chickens both for his own farm and to sell chicks in Sweden. So he's a great source, he has a lot of knowledge. And I think his video, Things You Should Do for a Good Hatch Rate, is a great place to start to see the process of incubating chickens. So here's what we're gonna talk about today. Number one, our favorite breeds. You really shouldn't go counting those eggs before you pick out the right chickens for you. Number two, sex them up. That means make sure that you're gonna end up with more hens than roosters. And number three, where to get your chicks. Whether babies or full-grown hens, you're gonna wanna make sure to get them from the right source and in the right quantity. Now there were a ton of videos that talked about chicken breeds, what are the best breeds to get at home. Every channel's got their version of it. And I love this video from, I believe it's a Navo Farm. I think her channel used to be called Gen B TV, but has recently changed and she's got a great video on chicken breeds and talking about the pros and cons to a number of breeds. So today we're gonna build a brooder and a mama hen. I know, weird. So let's go have some fun. If you're new to drilling, this is like the perfect beginner project to do, building a brooder. It's so simple. You really can't go wrong. And if you don't have baby chicks to put into when you finish making it, you can always stick children in it. All right, when you're talking about brooder setup, how to raise your chicks, into chickens. There's a couple of videos that stood out to me. One is from Darcy Isabella that shows how to build a brooder. I know there's a lot of videos out there about brooders, but she is a ton of fun and she does a great job showing you how to build a simple brooder in a really fun manner. If you watch the Great American Farm Tour, you'll remember Darcy from early on in the tour. I believe she's in the Chicago area. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each one out of the box one at a time. When we take it out of the box, we're gonna bring it over to the water and we're going to dip its beak in the water so we can see that it gets a drink. And then we're gonna set it down right next to the water and you can see it's already drinking. Living Traditions Homestead does a whole series. They've got a playlist for raising meat birds. And I think this video, Raising Cornish Cross Chickens for Meat, is a great place to start to learn how to both take care of chicks in the brooder and how to raise meat birds. 
check it out. But listen, coops are so much more than just their shelter. For me, coops are at the heart of the working machine that is the flock's potential. The first thing we're gonna talk about are the five different coops I use and how I put them to work for me. When we talk about chicken coops and chicken tractors, there is no shortage of videos out there, a ton of great ideas, a ton of great styles of both chicken coops and chicken tractors. And there is no way we can do this list without talking about these two channels. The first one we'll talk about is Justin Rhodes. The Chicken Ninja Master has a plethora of videos about raising chickens and how to house them. So be sure to check out his video, Five Chicken Coops That Work, and see all the styles that he has had and the pros and cons to each. Okay guys, so we're done with the uh, tractor build. Uh, it could be a chicken coop if you live uh, in not too bad a weather. Um, definitely during the spring, summer, fall. Um, this is gonna be our fryer coop right now. I was kind of pressed, so I had to build it uh, pretty quick. I built this coop, it took a little less than an hour, so um, it can be done. And the most watched chicken coop video on YouTube is from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Chicken coop for $50 and one hour to build. A really simple concept and an easy way to get started with housing your chickens. If you aren't one of the three plus million viewers of that video yet, you need to see it. But I'm gonna go through everything for you real quick to give you an idea, and this looks like a lot if you can see this table, um, but um, I don't do everything all at one time. I just wanna give you a, an opportunity to see all that we do. The most basic fundamental thing that you want to do for your chickens, in my opinion, is you want to, you want to provide a, a really good feed for them and you want to give them opportunity to free range. This list wouldn't be complete without Appalachia Homestead with Patera. She does a great job with supplementing all of her feed costs on her farm with her egg laying flock. So be sure to check out her video on how she feeds her chickens. Now is the best time to get chickens. Eggs have doubled in price. I'm gonna tell you what to feed them so you can just get a few chickens and they will just lay, lay, lay for you. Let's go. Becky's Homestead has a ton of great videos about how to raise chickens and she has a ton of fun while she does it. If you wanna learn how to manage, take care of, what things to have in place, how to feed your laying flock, do not miss out on Becky's Homestead. Overall, having backyard chickens is a very rewarding and fun project. They make terrific pets and it's absolutely great to have fresh eggs all the time. It does take some work and the fact is putting a little bit of work in every single day is much, much better for you and the chickens than from putting in a big chunk on the weekends. And one of the best all around videos about raising chickens is called Backyard Chickens 101 from the King's Roost. Unfortunately, I don't see that these guys produce videos any longer, but this video was one of the first videos I ever saw when I started to raise chickens, and I really love it. Be sure to check it out. And if you get all the way through this playlist and you wanna get really obsessed with chickens, Bobblehead Homestead shared with me this playlist from Living Web Farms about raising heritage poultry. A really cool series that will teach you all kinds of things about chickens. I linked the playlist down in the description as well. That is it, guys, for our Top 10 Tuesday. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope this list will give you a great place to start and a lot of great videos to watch to get started with chickens. I will link a playlist for both the Top 10 Tuesday series down in the description and all of these videos that we talked about today. So check them out, have fun getting chicks, and we'll see you next time on Top 10 Tuesday. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. We'll see you next week for another Top 10 Tuesday list. We'll be coming out with the nomination video tomorrow. And if you have any other Top 10 topics you'd like us to cover, put it down in the comments. We'd love to have some other ideas for lists. We'll see you next time.